Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, gracias a todos por estar aquí. Eh, como siempre, bien preparado, con mucho entusiasmo. Obviamente él viene a ganar, yo vengo a ganar. Eso quiere decir que va a ser una gran pelea, ¿no? Gracias por a todos los que hicieron posible esta pelea. La verdad, eh, me siento emocionado, me siento muy feliz de que pues, ya estemos cerca de, de la hora de la hora. Ya quiero que llegue el día y pues esperen todos eh, una gran guerra mexicana y pues viva México. Muchas gracias. ¿Qué tal? Buenas tardes. Eh, muy agradecidos con todos los que están aquí, con todos los que hicieron también posible esta pelea. Estamos listos, hicimos una gran preparación. Sabemos que Jaime es un gran peleador, que tiene un gran equipo. Thank you very much uh, for being here for what I truly believe will be the changing of the guard. My sole purpose in this promotion is to support Jaime. However, I would be remiss if I didn't respond to the man I used to promote. The company you fought under for four, four decades has always had one name, and it's mine. So put some respect on it. Tú no escribes nada. Tú no haces nada. Tú no haces nada. First, we'll get a translation from Martin Batar. Yeah. Yeah. And he's a That's what I say. He's a He tried to, to give the, the attention for him, not for Munguia. He's a he still his fighters. Sé que Canelo es un gran peleador, sé que eres una peleadora, pero vamos a salir con el brazo alto. I don't know how many rounds, but it's going to be a really good fight for the Mexicans, for the Mexican history, and I'm proud about it. Peace, it's your boy, Romelo Scuds, e Russ. Outspoken 520 Boxing Predictions of the highly anticipated Super Middleweight 168 Division for the Undisputed uh, Championship Belts. I'm talking Canelo Alvarez versus Jaime McGee. I will be breaking down keys to victory for both fighters and what they need to do to get the victory. First, I'm gonna start with Jaime McGee. Jaime McGee is 43 and no. 34 wins by way of knockout. His last victory was against John Ryder this past January. It was here in Arizona. I should have went to that fight, but didn't. Um, Jaime McGee is a pressure fighter. Throws good combinations. He got decent speed, and he has power. Um, his defense is not that good. It's, it's leaky at best. Um, basically, his offense is his defense, and he has a good chin. Um, if you saw the Sergey uh, Defrachenko fight last year, and that was my co uh, fight of the year of last year, that was a really good fight. It was just two 168 Warriors just duking it out and just hitting and combinations and body shots and shots to the face. And Jaime McGill, that was his debut in 168, and he took it well, and he dropped uh, Defrachenko and got the victory of uh, last year. But from that fight to till the uh, John Ryder fight, I thought I saw a lot of improvements from um, Jaime McGill. Um, he didn't start as fast. He was more patient. He started off with the jab, what he should do, because he's since one, he's tall. So um, he started with the jab with John Ryder and basically more patient to find his openings as he does his combinations and built up his pressure. He dropped uh, John Ryder in the second uh, round and stopped him in the knife. What I think Jaime McGee should do, I think he should mix it up more. Um, yes, um, come with your pressure, but also be patient with the pressure. Don't be so anxious to start off with a bang with Canelo, because Canelo is, is very smart. Got He's got a very high IQ and he's experienced and he's seen every style so I want to start with that going in the rain starting fast I want to do that and also Jaime McGill is he got good he he's good in, in, in condition he's very conditioned um in his fights as you've seen the Sergey Devrachenko fight that's my favorite fight from him between that and we fought uh, Liam Smith. That's how he got his name on the map. He's a former champion. Now, um, he got to, he go, he gonna have to receive some shots. I mean, he's gonna receive shots anyway because 
He's wide open. His face be on the line of range, and he's easy to hit. So, um, but he got to take the fight. You can't be bit by the Canelo effect. What's the Canelo effect? The Canelo effect is the, he's the face of boxing and bright lights, and uh, he's a star. So, um, I'm sure Canelo going to have the crowd. Um, it's going to be in his favor. So, Jaime McGill got to fight like he got nothing to lose. And if he does lose to Canelo, it's no shame in that because Canelo is a future Hall of Famer. When, when it's all said and done, he's undisputed now. Uh, he's a fourth division champion. So, yeah, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. But I think Jaime McGill got to go in there and take it. Make your claim to this boxing game. Make your claim by beating Canelo Alvarez. That's what I think. And he got to fight your, you got to fight your fight to beat him. And what troubles Canelo, I don't think Muhammad McGill could do it. But if he does, it will shock the hell out of me. He has to box him too and frustrate uh, Canelo. Don't, when he baits you in, don't fall for it. Fight your fight. Don't get caught in it. Don't get caught in his web. Cause that's what he wants you to do. He wants you, he gonna bait you in and then he gonna do his thing. So, but I think Jaime McGee just gotta go out there and just fight your fight. Don't be afraid in the moment and do your thing. That's what I think Jaime McGee should do. Uh, mess it up, start with the jab, then increase your volume by your combinations and Catch uh, Canelo slipping, even though Canelo got a good chin. But catch him slipping and just dominate the fight and to have the judges in your favor. Because, again, like I said, Canelo Alvarez is the face of Bossy. He going to get the preferential treatment as Triple G and as low-key as uh, Eros Landy uh, Laura. So I'm about the preferential treatment. Okay, now to Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez, we already know uh, what he's about. Canelo Alvarez is uh, 62 and 2 with 39, 39 wins by way of knockout. Canelo Alvarez is the face of boxing right now. He's undisputed super middleweight champion. Canelo Alvarez is uh, a very skilled fighter. He's declining. If you've seen Canelo from. The Danny Jacobs fight to now, you can see the decline is getting to him. He's been fighting since he was 15 years old, and he's 33 now, so that's um, 18 years he's been a professional. So, and you already know was undefeated for the time, even though 33 is not young, but and it's not old, but it's getting there. Um, Canelo Alvarez, he, he got a very IQ, he's clever, um, he's experienced, he's seen every style, he's a very good counter puncher, and he's a very good, uh, body puncher, too, he's, he's probably the best body puncher, one of the best body punchers, um, Canelo's gonna, trying to bait you in, he comes in with the high guard, and work his way to the body, to work his way upstairs as he's the shorter fighter than Jaime McGuinness. So, that's what Canelo going to do. I think Canelo, one, I think Canelo needs to start fast. He said he's healthy. Um, he has a couple of injuries over his run. It, in the past, like, three or four years, he had a couple of injuries. But, now nah, he said he's very healthy. He's he's fresh. We're we going to see it. Um how he starts. I think he needs to start faster. Um, give Jaime McGill like that, okay, you in there with the bad boy now. So, um, basically start fast. And I think Canelo need to be, he need to be, uh, he got to search for that opportunity for his counter punching to land that bet shot that can either hurt McGill really bad or stop him or K on. I think Canelo need to do that. Um, Canelo, again, he's clever. His, he's really slow-footed, but he got good instincts with his head movement. 
on, on the punch. So that's going to be another factor. And he has a good chance. So he could take a punch. I mean, he took a punch with Triple G and, and others at Kovalev and others. Like, again, um, Canelo has trouble with boxers, with good feet and good instincts. Like the Floyd fight, of course, and Dimitri Bivol, and low-key, the uh, Caleb Plant fight. The Caleb Plant fight, uh, fight, I'm sorry, I said flight. The Caleb Plant fight, Caleb Plant was winning that fight. Um, he uses his reach, his athleticism, his speed. Uh, he caught Canelo with some good shots, and his timing. His timing was good, but what failed Caleb Plant in the fight versus Canelo is his condition. His, he got bad condition, but he is a skilled fighter. But yeah, but he's he tired out quick. So, um, but again, Canelo is experience, and again, like I said, Canelo seen every style, and it works. His, it worked to his advantage. That worked to his advantage as far as being experienced. He's seen it all, so. But Canelo need to start fast and be very opportun look for that opportunity to for your counter punch for his counter punching to land that big shot to end Hammer McGill. I think that's what Canelo need to do to get the victory. Now, who do I think will win this fight? Predictions, I think Canelo wins it uh by decision. It won't surprise me if Canelo knocks him out, but I don't see that because Jaime McGill has a chance. So I'm taking Canelo and decision. I think the score will be 8-4. But that's all I got. Comment down below. Tell me what you think, how the outcome the fight going to be. Is it Jaime McGill or is it Canelo Alvarez? Decision for Canelo. KO by Canelo. KO by McGill or decision by uh, McGill. But that's all I got for y'all. I'm a mellow scuzz. E. Russ, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I spoke at 520 Boss. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Coming soon, X. That's all I got again. I'm Romello Scuds. I spoke at 520 Boxing. Peace and blessings. One.